What's up, folks? Welcome back to Italy. Yes, uh, one of the uh, the final episodes. I I assume um, it's the year 1791. We are annexing Byzantium, and that would be all that we need to form the Roman Empire. Then for the Manostrum, we need these two provinces. Now I wished that Russia didn't take those, um, but they did. And we'll have to deal with that accordingly. Unfortunately, truces won't run out for another year. And I kind of don't want to be attacking Austria. Just, I don't need that. I don't, I really don't need that. I just, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't mind if they join. But I kind of don't need them to be in this war <laughs> by themselves. Uh, we'll just stomp forward. We know that the uh, capital is somewhere in this region. Uh, I just, I can't click it on. It's probably here. So, yeah, here it is. Moskva. Um, yeah, Moskva. Moskva. Okay. Let us uh, unpause the game. We know we need to go for like a year, which is uh, something else. We are improving relations. We got two free diplomats. I did spend some of my money into the uh, the trade companies again. So that just went up by a hundred. Let's take a look here at trade. Eight eight hundred and twenty-two. And um, let me readjust my mic here because I'm thinking it's picking up a lot of my echo. Okay, that should be a bit better, hopefully. We could... Well, we don't have inflation. That is quite nice. We are at maximum of everything. And still we're making 636. For me, that is, uh, is amazing. We could... Get the throne of Canada. Well, I'll be damned. A personal union with... Canada, wow! <laughs> there you go, some some uh, some stuff in the end. If he dies right now, we will get Canada. That's interesting. Let's uh, keep going. Uh, rogues, iron, awesome. Also, let's uh, let's slow down a tiny bit uh, because we might need to build more buildings. Let's see, that's just thirteen. That is fine. I don't want that. We'll have the stock exchange. We can build that a great deal. We can also go and... Goods produced. Yeah, it, it produces by one. So that would be halfway. I, I don't care for it anymore. Do we want more troops? No. No, I'm actually quite okay with that. Production. Let's take a look. Yeah, some of these are interesting. I might just build days um, because we can go with the town hall. Of course, we can go with the stock exchange. And some of them are still very interesting. We might have to just build these everywhere. Because that, yeah, well, some of them are very expensive. That is for sure. But there we go. We'll probably make a lot more. We're at 610. And these will take a long time. Actually, we got two more merchants. Where do we place them? It's not like... Well... 35, 32... Transfer with you... And... Transfer with you... All the way into the English Channel where we are now collecting. We cannot steer into that from these two nodes, so it's okay. We could... Instead of steering downwards... Steering upwards, but unfortunately we just have 25% of this node. And we have 100%, almost 100% of these. Who is... Oh, Austria. Yeah, you know, for the next series, when we do that, I do want to focus more on trade nodes, to be honest. Let's get these civil services. Now, this... Oh, we can make states again. Oh, that's interesting. We might do so. Let's go to decisions and policies, because I believe there is now a few. Income for vessels, diplomatic annexation cost is always interesting. But not for now, we are, we're just about to get Byzantium in three years. Diplomat. Ah, oh, some of these are so damn good. Max promoted culture is interesting. Trade efficiency, but we just removed those. 
We got that twice, actually. So that's a good 40% there. Uh, my dog is readjusting its position in its... Um, how do you call that? Well, it's not a pillow, but it's a sort of a half pen. Manpower. Uh, we were definitely looking for... I think it's this one, the annexation cost. This will suffer me one admin. You know what? It's not that difficult. Let's just take it. So we're now bumping up from 50 to 70. Uh, when is this going to finish? The annexation is finishing in 93. So we could wait and form the Roman Empire. But I'm thinking we do want to make sure that we attack um, Russia next month. We are still building. So that's going to be a while. Okay, that's going to be done. April... Yeah, in July, it is going to be time to declaring war against Russia. Uh, I'll be focusing... Oh, he's fighting Portugal. Yeah, he's going for the, uh, the islands. He's going to be making the crossing into America. And usually this is uh, some nice territory to get. If you are snaking your way in here, I believe you can actually fully core it then. And that's a buttload of manpower. I believe that's how you do the three mountains as well. Uh, lost the protection of trade. That's fine. June. And here we go. It is uh, going to be July. There is the truce with Russia. It means that we are going to be officially at war. Uh, we keep building that spy network. Let's declare war. Uh, we can call him in. Just uh, make this bit more nicer. I think I'm in favor of that. Next time we should probably just try to get the entire bottom half. I know I've been slacking. I'm sorry. Uh, some of you probably... Won't like, I'm not, no, I'm not going to call him in. Uh, we're going to be taking all of that. We're going to be telling you to march straight to that capital. Now, you go there. You move over there. You move over there. You, is there other forts in here? No. I want to keep some sort of a line. I want to keep them nearby. There are some separatists over there. We don't need all of these stacks. I am aware of this. Also, why don't we take <laughs> these two provinces? I'm such a douche. Let's go. Uh, Byzantium is sending in the final troops that he will send us. We are taking down the capital of Austria. Hopefully that is going to be enough to piece him out. And it's negative 13. Let's deal with your army. Siege there has been one. That means you are still on the move. There's some Russian troops. You can do that as well. Uh, we want to definitely start going towards their capital. So you go there. And you go over there. Let's wait until he gets that. Now these two will move there and there. And you will move upwards one to that area. We could probably just piece him out for these two provinces relatively fast. Because that is what we are going for. This is all of the coastal regions in, in the Gulf of Gapes. The Mediterranean. That's I never remember how it's called actually. Negative 12. Still sending some troops here and there. No morale whatsoever. Move all the way over there. There's a fort over there. Yeah, you can reinforce all you want. You still will lose. I... Yeah, there we go. That should be it. He is now on negative 4, actually. Wow, really? Didn't see that happening. I really didn't think that was going to do it. Uh, Prussia is sending out uh, an amazing amount of troops. And I'm thinking the majority of the of the Russian troops are fighting in this region. Because he did attack uh, Portugal, of course. 
But it's always nice. We'll take as much as we can because I see no reason not to. And next year, the annexation is going to be done. We'll accept that. You are going to go... Somewhere over there. I want you in a position where we can reinforce. We know that uh, Russia has uh, some insane amount of troops. And I'm thinking... Where is the capital now? Should be around here somewhere. In this region. It has to be... It will probably have a fort... It's fine. We'll just focus on the forts and... I could also just search for it, but I'm an idiot. Let's go... Moskva. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we see it's down its capital. If we want to sue for peace, we're there at negative seven. This, this could be a very fast war. I'm going to be bringing these free, and I'm going to tell you to go here, here, and there. I did, I did spot some uh, Russian troops. Uh, guys, there, there, there. How is uh, Austria doing? We, I don't care for the aggressive expansion. We could take this. We'll uh, reinforce all of that. Siege there is done. And we'll move you here. And there. We can reinforce with these two stacks over there if we want to. And these two are done. Prussia is doing a great job over here. Let's go to Novgorod and send one over there. Small stack, so he's building up troops. He knows he, uh, he has a problem. He is building up like crazy. He has 395 troops, and he is starting to go into this direction. We could already peace out, take what we want. Uh, I don't think so. If, if we are going to do this, we're going to be taking a chunk. And I should have done this years ago. I'm sorry for that. So these are fighting over there. Okay, so that fort also fell. Is there another fort in here? Negative 137. Let's go take down of your they take out your troops again. It's my fort, it's defensive. Best fight you can ever have. He gets a negative one. His uh, his morale is crazy, look at that. He has a 10 in morale. Way to go, dude. I'm I'm actually impressed. Let's take a look what's been going on. Yeah, okay. So they're going down in here in full force. It's fine. We got your capital. We're st we could move back. Deal with all of these troops. Waste his manpower. I'm actually not against that. No, we want you there, there, and there. Okay, we're sending three guys back. We're going to be wasting his manpower. These, as well, you go... Here. And there's a fort here. So I'll start there and send one over there. Go. All of them are force smart. They don't use it. If we can deal with his troops, integration is a slow process. There we go. We have gotten um, Byzantium. Now, we need to be out of this war to form the uh, Roman Empire. As you can see, we are... We, are, we need to be at peace, and that is it. Is it independent or is tributary? Now, that's, I, that's a bit misleading, but... Um, you can also form Rome as a tributaire, apparently. Interesting. That would be uh, one big-ass tributaire. How is this going here? Negative 120. Okay, let's start sieging down provinces so he is unable to rebuild. I 
Oh, I see what's been going on. The troops of Byzantium. <clears throat> yeah, we're sending back a uh, large stack. This is not good for, for us. I'm, I'm going to let them because I kind of don't need the troops. But here's going to be some of the fights. And it looks like he will be reinforcing with a large stack over there. So we're sending three of them. He is... Where is that 110? It's in here somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's a shame that these small troops are getting their ass kicked. Actually, you will go there. You will move over there. This, this is going to cost them quite a bit. I'm sure of it. And I want you to start moving... Like this. Uh, military leader probably was killed. Uh, we're going to be taking on that 40. I want to see how they are doing. Let's take a look. So we have more discipline. And we have slightly more morale. We have mil better military tactics. So that's going to be a win. I say it's going to be a win. But I'm not too sure at the moment. Oh wow. That was a very, very scary win. Not sure I like that. Okay, let's go back. Uh, these guys are done. You go here and here. Troops. Uh, 352. Austria wants out. Ah, you almost want to give me what I want. I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. But I'm going to anyways. They get... We get a negative three. Okay. That is not what I think we're going to be winning. Especially not with a 10 in morale. Yeah, that's mountains, dumbass. <laughs> and now he can attack me into it. That's fine. If he attacks me into it, he can go for it. Uh, we'll build up. Oh, we're at 61, though. What could we take? And usually it, it's like a good idea just to say, I'm going to be taking your entire border here. And then we'll probably do... Same like over here. And this way they are unable to expand. At least into Europe. And you would be eating Europe completely. Though we don't need to. We just need to be at peace. So let's... Um, do we actually... Do we actually want this? We can take it like this. Let's do Austria. And... Let's take a look again to Russia. We can just take large Portugal. Let's annex. Let's annex some pits of Russia. How much can we take? That's a good land grab here. Uh, Russia is most likely going to be joining the coalition, but I just do not fear anyone else. We have to wait for a month. Set demand. We are at peace. We got a good chunk. Let's get all of our troops back. And just send them over here for now. Uh, we'll have to rearrange everything. Okay, let's go. So, <clears throat> uh, we need to start coring. That is for sure. We have a decision available. The restoration of Rome... Let's hit that button. We have new traditions and ambitions. I'm not sure which one they are, but here we go. We are gloriously red right now. Yes, please. Let's take a look at those uh, traditions. And so we got Pax Roman, National Unrest, negative one. We got the Legacy of Rome. That is Diplo Rep plus two. We got the SPQR, which is Stability Cost Modifier, negative 20. The Roman Legions, Land Limit Modifier, plus 15%. Infantry Combatability, plus 10. That is amazing. That is so good. Uh, we have Roman Architecture, Production Efficiency, plus 20. We have the Imperial Bureau Bureaucracy, National Tax, plus 10. 
dear God, we're going to be making some core creation cost negative 20. We have formed Rome. Love it. Absolutely do. Overextension, dangerously high. I really don't care about that currently. So, do we... There we go. We have the Mare Nostrum achievement as well. Absolutely awesome. I love that. Center of attention on both Protestant and Reform. What do you want me to do? Has a center of reformation. Oh no, I don't care about that. Is there anything else I want to do? Cowardly tactics. Own... Producing livestock. Fort level at least two. Cowardly tactics. We, we can tr do that most likely. We need fort level twos on mountains with livestock. Let's see. Do you have livestock now? It is... That is livestock, yes. We need to take a look into... Do I have that modifier in here? Uh, not that modifier, that card menu. Let's add goods. Is it in this one? Supply limit, no, not what I was looking for. Trade leak, trade power, no, economic. It has to be in economic then. Trade goods. Uh, guys. Okay, zoom in more. Okay, livestock, mountainous terrain. This is hills. Woods, woods, farmlands, hills. There has to be some more mountains. Farmlands. We need one more fort, level 2. In mountainous terrain, like this one. Oh, it already has one. Highlands, highlands, hills, grassland. Can we just click the cow? Click. Show me the cow, please. Thank you. Steps, farmland. Grassland. Highlands. Oh, come on. Why is the damn hills? Uh, mountains I need, actually. Not hills. This one already has a fort, yeah. Wow, how difficult is it to find hills? Usually I find myself fighting in hills all the time. Or in mountains. How about here in England? I did remove a lot of the forts over here. That's not mine. This is not mine. I don't think I have anything... Ah, as a fort. Coastal, coastal, desert, desert, islands. This is not mine. This is mine. I, I'd say there is none available. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. Do they have some over here that I could just take? I don't think I can just take them. Huh. Well. Kinda... Holds my plan. Let's go re do all of these. It's, it's actually not the very necessary anymore, considering we actually achieved what I wanted to create. Uh, guys, we, uh, we've done amazing. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I was hoping for a bit more people watching, but you know, that's future stuff. That is future stuff. Let me know anything that I did wrong, what I should have done differently, except for, of course, I know the PU from Russia. 
Um, we also lost the PU in the Scandinavian regions. That would have been very helpful. We'd be taking a lot more. Uh, I don't think I'm ready yet to go... Um, how do you say it? World Conquest? Uh, definitely not. There's still a lot that I need to learn. But still, it's been, uh, it's been good fun. I'm going to be ending the series off here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Matthew, for um, just, just guiding me through this. I hope to um, be able to call upon you soon again. I'm not sure which, con which country I want to be playing. Um, and it might be a few weeks until I start a new one. But we'll see. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you want to see. And I'll, uh, I'll take everything into consideration. For now, thank you so much. And have a good one. Bye-bye.